probably should have deconfigured that first, but I'm already here, so here we go. Don't know if y'all can hear that, but this CD-ROM makes these little, um, satisfying sounds when it, uh, when it ejects a disc or when it spins up. Um, it's hard to explain. I'll try to capture it here in just a little bit. It's hard to hear over the hard drive. I guess I don't really need the hard drive powered at the moment. Let's see if you can hear this. Hear that? Like a little... Listen when I press the button. It's like a little wing. It's very satisfying. I like it a lot. Anyway, getting distracted. Hello everyone and good day to you. So I've been reading a lot of articles and blog posts and so forth that uh, tell me that one meg of cache isn't stable in 46s. It isn't stable on this motherboard. Uh, there's going to be problems, it's going to have issues. So I decided that before I went any further, I wanted to fully validate this um, and run some performance tests and get my final memory configuration in this before I get it into a case where it's inaccessible. Um, I'm also going to just run some, uh, some standard tests. Well, I don't know if standard is the right word for it, but um, PC RetroTech has a benchmark uh, suite, and I'm going to run some of those tests against this just to see how this board performs. I'm um, also just going to tweak a few things about its configuration and make sure it's all dialed in and ready to go. Uh, another reason I'm doing this video is because I haven't quite found a case that I want to put this in yet. So, uh, yeah, I want to do something in the interim. So, to start off, I'm um, going to just be configuring this as it is, uh, normal standard settings, stock settings. I've got a hard disk here loaded up with the uh, benchmark suite on it. So, um, yeah, let's just get that connected and uh, do our initial uh, baseline. Oh, uh -huh. also, if this goes well, I might even do a uh, test Windows NT installation. prove that can actually run an operating system. So yeah, just the normal settings, uh, nothing fancy here. Uh, just letting it automatically configure it as it sees fit. And this is my... Um, uh, AMD uh, uh, 586 uh, P75 chip, same as I had before. Okay, uh, yep, uh, 586 at 133 megahertz, um, 33, 3 megahertz front side bus, just bog standard config. Okay, 14.2 frames per second. Not great, not terrible. Let's also do a uh, uh, speed sys run. See what it reports. Okay, and we can see the uh, speed falls off at the 1024K mark, confirming that we have one megabyte of cache installed and working. All right, everything seems fine, everything seems stable. Um, my next step is uh, to max this out. I've got 128 uh, megs of um, known good memory I'm gonna be installing. And I'm going to take this thing up to a 40 megahertz bus speed and uh, go from there. I'm also going to... Hmm, not sure if I'm going to try Mac changing the memory timings this time around or just up the bus speed and see what happens. Um, hmm, I'll think about it as I reconfigure things here. I'm not going to 50 megahertz because I do not have a 5x86 CPU that will post at a 50 megahertz bus.
Yeah, that looks good. Okay, I think I'm just going to do one run with the uh, with just the bus speed increase and not change anything else and see how that goes. Okay, we're at 160 megahertz on the processor, 40 megahertz bus. I think I keep saying 50 megahertz, but I mean 40 megahertz. 40 megahertz bus. Let's do speed sys before Quake this time. Okay, those numbers are either just barely as good or worse. Um, that felt slower. I imagine the uh, BIOS in auto mode uh, tweaked my memory and cache weight states down. So let's go into the BIOS and max out everything and see if this board will run stable and uh, if we can get some better results. And missed it. Don't know that this is going to work, but let's just try it. I've seen other people get really good results with this board. Hmm, where did my graphics go? Maybe my matrix card doesn't like a 40 megahertz bus. Try a power reset. Yeah, it's happier that time. Sometimes this card does not reset with the rest of the system, which has caused me some pain in the past. Okay, still configured as before. And speed sys. There wasn't really a reason to run a uh, Quake benchmark last time. The results weren't going to be significantly different. Well, that's a pretty good improvement. Um, let's see how a Quake benchmark does. It feels faster. Alright, I will take 18.2 frames per second all day. I don't have a lot of experience with this benchmarking utility, but um, judging from other things I've seen on uh, PC RetroTech, I think that's a pretty good performance given this main board and this CPU and this configuration. And everything seems stable. Um, also, while y'all weren't watching, I upgraded this to the latest um, AMI BIOS. It wasn't significantly different than the previous one. And I'm happy with this BIOS, so I'm going to set this chip and remove my ZIF socket, because I don't think we're going to have to fiddle with it anymore. And uh, now I'm going to upgrade us to 128 megs of RAM and uh, get configured here for my Windows NT install. I've been waiting for this moment. It's exciting. go. Great. Uh, incidentally, the uh, 
Mouse works. Okay, great. Kernel started. Uh, let's just auto tech the. I have no idea what driver actually works with this thing, so. Let's see if it has one by default. It should. Yeah, probably just the standard IDE controller driver. Great, found the CD ROM. So far, so good. I wonder what time it thinks is invalid. Yeah, it's not 1995. What is today?
Miraculously, it has the time correct, but not the date. Fascinating. Oh, this, uh... This is feeling pretty good to me. Put my favorite wallpaper on here. Oh, yeah, that's the look. And I want the black desktop behind it. And I want all the colors. Yeah, great. Definitely going to be changing that time out. That's going to get real old real fast. Yeah, so far so good. It seems uh, like it's working real well. It seems really nice and stable. Um, I don't have any complaints. I think the cache is working just fine. Um, I wonder, I had a 40% failure rate on these cache chips. I wonder how many of the problems people have with one meg of cache out there is due to bad cache chips. It seems like they're more common than anyone suspects. Anyway, this machine seems to be working just fine. I'm really happy with it. I don't think there are any problems left. And I think this is our final configuration. I'm going to be adding some extra add-on cards. I'm going to put a network card in here and get it connected to my network network. I'm going to get a sound card in here. I'm going to pull my diagnostic card. And I'd get this thing in a case. Um, and hopefully that'll be happening in the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.